We started our journey through South America in the capital of Ecuador, Quito, and its surroundings. We then spent an amazing four days in the picturesque Galapagos Islands. One day in Guayaquil, one day in the capital of Peru, Lima, one day in Arequipa, one day on the way to Col Collage Spine Hot Springs. One day at Mirador Cruz del Condor. One day on Lake Titicaca. And today we're on our way to Siguani. This route, which is approximately 326 kilometers long, will take us about 12 hours, including some interesting stops. Just 6 kilometers from our hotel is our first stop, Mirador Pumauta. This nice viewpoint allows us to take the last shots of the city before we say goodbye to it. Our next stop, Selustani. Selustani is an archaeological site located near Lake Umayo, approximately 34 kilometers northwest of Puno in southern Peru. Selustani was constructed by the Kola people, a civilization that predated the Incas. However, it was later used by the Inca civilization as well. The primary features of Selustani are its chopas, built to house the remains of nobility or high-status individuals. These towers are more complex and larger than the usual chopas found in other regions of the Andes. The most intricate towers at Silustani feature stone masonry of extraordinarily high quality. Some of the stones used are massive and weigh several tons, yet they are fitted together with great precision without the use of mortar. Our next stop, Bukhara. Bukhara is a town located in the Puno region of southern Peru. Here we will first visit workshop Taller di Ceramica Torawasi. Taller di Ceramica. This part of the name means ceramic workshop, indicating that this is a place where ceramics are made. Torawasi. Toro means bull in Spanish, which is significant given that the Pucara bulls are a well-known cultural artifact. Wasi means house in Quechua, a native language spoken in the Andean region. So, the name essentially tells you that this is a workshop focused on creating traditional ceramic bowls likely following the methods and styles that are traditional to the Pukara culture. Such workshops often serve both as production sites and as showrooms where visitors can learn about the process, the tradition, and even purchase these cultural items. The Toritos di Pukara are considered symbols of prosperity, happiness, fertility, and protection. They are often gifted at weddings, and it's common to see them on newly constructed buildings. At the end of our stop in Pukara, before we have lunch, we stop at a local workshop for a small presentation on coffee production. Our next stop, Puyuramandii Forest. Puyuramandii is one of the world's largest bromeliads and holds the record for the tallest flowering spike among them. The flower spike can reach heights of up to 10 meters, or around 33 feet. This plant grows at elevations ranging from approximately 3,000 to 4,800 meters or 9,800 to 15,700 feet, and has an extremely long lifespan but flowers only once before dying. It can take several decades, often around 40 to 100 years, for a Puyuramandii to bloom. When it does bloom, a single Puyuramandii can produce up to 20,000 flowers and around 6 million seeds. The flowering process can last for several months. Our next stop, Tinayani Canyon. Tinayani Canyon is situated near the town of Ayaviri, which is approximately halfway between the cities of Puno and Cusco. The canyon's large rock formations offer a unique geological landscape. 
The rocks have been naturally eroded over time into various shapes and sizes, which makes the area an interesting subject for geological study as well as photography. Though not as widely visited as other natural attractions in Peru, Tinayane Canyon is becoming increasingly popular with tourists seeking off the beaten path experiences. Enjoy our trip today with us.